Okay, so this is G481 mock paper question 4A. Um, as we can see from the question, the ball is travelling horizontally as it hits the wall at B. Um, the key point in this question is that the air resistance is negligible. Um, so the question is, explain why the horizontal component of the velocity of the ball remains constant as it moves from A to B. Um, air resistance could be the only thing acting upon the ball to give it a horizontal force, so um, there is obviously no horizontal force. Question 4a, part 2, 1. On figure 4.1, sketch the path of the ball between bouncing at the wall and hitting the ground. First of all, a lot of people may have missed this question out due to lack of reading it as there's no answer space. The key to this question is it says um, the ball loses some kinetic energy to thermal um, in the wall, so the ball will not bounce back um, at the same angle as it did before, as you can see from the diagram. As the ball loses kinetic energy, it will bounce closer to the wall. Um, the line also has to be curved, the same curve as the original line to get the marks. Okay, so um, next question. Explain how the time taken from the ball to travel from A to B compares with the time it takes to travel from B to the ground. Um, the time will be the same as the vertical force is constant, so there is a constant acceleration and the same height. Okay, so um, question 4b. A student is given a meter ruler, a stopwatch and a tennis ball. Explain how this equipment can be used to determine an approximate value for the acceleration g of the free fall. So um, this is pretty similar to um, the practical we did in class, so it's basically um, measuring the height and the time and then using a simple SUVAT equation to determine the acceleration of the free fall. Okay, so this is question 4C part 1. Describe with out calculation the motion of the ball between t equals 0 and t equals 3 seconds. So as we can see from the, the graph, we can see a constant deceleration due to the straight line going down. Uh, we can also see that it stops after 1.5 seconds, which is where the velocity is 0 meters per second, and it will be the highest point of where the ball can reach. Um, since, the ball, uh, since the velocity is now negative, um, the ball is starting to roll back down the hill and then going back the way it came. Okay, so this is question 4C, part 2. Calculate the maximum distance D travelled by the ball up the ramp. So, um, as, as you know, displacement is the area under the graph. So, as you can see from the shaded area on the graph, um, we have a triangle, a right angle triangle. So, we know it's just going to be half base times out, or a half VT in this case. So, you do a half times 4 times 1.3 equals 3 metres.